So now we've got the two key milling operations set up with the design. Um, we can look at how we'd actually cut this object out of a piece of stock material. Um, and we could actually copy that component and machine 10 of those out in one go. So you could go back into design, make a copy of it and, and nest them, which is where you're grouping them for machining uh, manufacturing efficiency. And it, really simple to cut out uh, a t a, a, an object like this. So all you do is go to 2D contour, use the exact same cutter, select your geometry. So your key bit here is selecting the bottom outline. And what you've got to visualize is that that is going to be cut out of a larger sheet. So if you did do that and the cutter finished its whole loop, it would suddenly become loose at the very end and either get thrown from the, the bed of the machine or possibly damage or break the cutting tool. So this is where we need to add some tabs. And you, you, it's, getting the right balance here is important and also depending on the material you're using. Uh, something fibrous like timber, uh, you can go for quite thin tabs. Uh, same with metal base, but if it's foam, you want to go a bit deeper. Something that you can trim with a knife or a fine uh, saw and file after. So the tab width, keep it 5 millimeters, um, and the tab height can be 1.25, and that would easily cut with a small uh, knife. And then the distance between them is that you've got to get that right. So if you change that to 80, you can see it's removed that to 1 on either side. That's probably not enough, so put that to 60. That looks about right to me. And then we'll just check those uh, heights. So again, just bring that retract height down. Um, and then the other ones are at 5 millimeters. Check the linking. That looks OK. Um, and multiple depths is really important when you're doing an overall profile. And again, think about the diameter of that tool, five millimeters. So we set that at five millimeters and click OK. And you can see that each of those blue lines has appeared and that indicates step downs of five millimeters. And then on the last pass, it will just link those uh, tabs in. So if we right click on that, simulate, we'll just speed that up a bit. And then on the last pass, you should see it just jump up and down. Yeah. Okay. Now it is possible to right click on the um, setup and click simulate. And it will actually do all of the operations that you set in one go, which is good practice to check through that. Okay. So to get that to um, uh, the CNC machine, all you need to do once you've done that, save your design right click on the setup and you want to click post process and then you need to select Mac 3 okay and it should say dot tap and safe retracts where it says G28 you need to change that to clearance height so that means in Mac 3 whenever there's it comes to the end of um, process it will retract the tool to the clearance height that we've set as the orange square in, in fusion and then you can change the name of that and save the 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 output file okay